Many of us let the enemy push us around every single day. Many of us let our jobs and the pressure push us around every single day. And you got to understand that God created you to command and control everything that's under your feet. God created you to take authority and dominion over everything that's trying to take authority and dominion over you. But you won't do it if you don't understand who you are. Somebody say, I know who I am. I got to elevate my perspective. All of my children are wins. I said all of my children are wins. I said all my children are wins. And they're not wins because of their mother. I, I have to teach this so you can grasp the concept. They're not wins because they're mo of their mother. Their mother is a skinner who became a win because I made her a win. Y'all will get it in a few minutes. Y'all will get it in a few minutes. I got to teach what they can understand it, Marlon. See, before she met me, she was a skinner. How did she get to be a skinner? Because her daddy was a skinner. Now, her mama was a dove. Her mama became a skinner. Why? Because her daddy made her mama a skinner. So if a human man can change the woman's name, then a God can change my name. I just need you to embrace this. All of my children are wins. Not because of Letitia win, but because I am the procreator. I am the name by which the name goes with the child. And I know some of y'all women done got beside yourself. Mm-hmm. Now you got the brother taking your name. You know people actually doing that. There are men actually taking their wives' last name. I'm like, what is the world turning into? Uh, what I look like talking about some Anthony Troy win hyphen Skinner. What I look like? God said, I made you the head, not the tail. Because whoever is the head has the authority to name what it wants to be. Okay, come here, Adam. Adam, I need you to name these animals. Why didn't God wait till Eve was created and let Eve name the animals? Come on, somebody. No, God's not a male chauvinist. There's an order to God. God has put in the mouth of every man the ability to name or rename. I wish I had somebody who understood. So listen, don't call yourself poor. Don't call yourself struggling. Don't call yourself on the bottom. You can rename your situation. What you call yourself rich and highly favored. What you call yourself blessed and blessed to be a blessing. What you call yourself healthy and healed. I wish I had a church in here. Somebody say, I got to change my perspective and I got to elevate him. Can I go deeper? Maybe you'll get this. Proverbs 23 and 7 says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, now his heart is not this pulmonary vessel, the heart is his brain and his mind. As a man thinks in his mind, the Bible said, I didn't say it, the Bible said, so is he. If I can get you just to accept what God has said about your life, in spite of the mistakes you've made. See, my mistakes don't change who I am. Help him, Holy Ghost. The mistakes I've made don't change let me tell you, it don't change my destiny and I've messed up. Anybody messed up besides me, I've messed up. I've made some mistakes since I've been saved. But I thank God that when God calls you something, even you can't change it. God. See, when God calls something something, whatever it does doesn't change what it is because God's word does not fail. So I am blessed. When I'm coughing, I am healed. Come on, somebody. When my money acting funny, guess what? I am wealthy. I wish I had a church in here. When folk talk about me behind my back, I am loved. See, don't let your situation, you've heard me say it before, change your salutation. You keep looking at what you're experiencing, speaking what you're experiencing. I'm looking in the words, speaking what the words said, because if I say what the words say long enough, it'll show up in my life. For as a man thinketh in his heart, I wish I could get y'all to believe that. How many of y'all really believe it? Let me tell you something. I live it, guys. But how many of y'all really believe that? If you can think it. Somebody say, my thoughts become things. Say that again. My thoughts become things. Say this. So I need to be careful what I'm thinking. Mm, let that marinate for a minute. And most of us are thinking too low. Most of us are looking forward to 2018. 
because we figure this year is over. Man, I'm thinking this is gonna be the best year I've ever seen and ain't but two and a piece of months left. You really think that, Pastor? That's the way my mind is wired, that the best is yet to come and whatever troubles come in my way, everything works together for my good. See, how you think it is how you ink it. Come on, somebody, your thoughts become things, so I refuse to think negative about anything happening in my life. All things work together for my good. If I got lemons, I'm about to make lemonade. If I got haters, I'm about to go up to another level. See, it's a, it, life is about perspective. God said he'll make your enemies your footstool. So when enemies start gathering around, that means God's getting ready to take you to another level. So you should never be afraid. If your money's acting funny, I just think that means God's getting ready to bless me financially. And he want to see if I can maintain my faith through the struggle. How do you perceive what you're going through? Right. Somebody said I got to elevate my perspective. Elevate. Somebody said I got to elevate my perspective. How many ever been to the beach? Let me see, all right, if you've never been to the beach, try, try, try to get there, man. try to get there, because I want you to stand on the shore and I want you to look out into the ocean. If you've ever done it, it's a beautiful thing to do. But if you do it long enough, you'll remember something that I see every time when I stand at the ocean and I look out. It looks to me like the ocean and the sky meet. I'm a preacher, somebody gonna get it on a high level. When you look at it, you look like, okay, the further I look out, it seems like eventually the sky and the ocean meet. But guess what? The sky and the ocean don't meet because if they did, there would be no such thing as gravity. If you can get a higher perspective, you will see that the sky never touches the ocean. What are you trying to tell me, Pastor? Some of y'all looking down the road thinking that things are about to get bad, that doors about to get closed, but it's your perspective. If you can rise up above it, you see, oh, my finances are about to get better. Oh, my body about to be healed. Oh, I'm about to have some real friends in my life. You ever been on a train track and look down the train track? It's amazing when you look down the train track, I promise you, it looks like the train tracks come together. If the train tracks come together, the train gonna fall off the tracks. Well, Pastor, why does it look like the train tracks come together? It looks like the train tracks come together because you got a low perspective on things. It looks like the train tracks come together. Watch this, because you ain't on the train, you on the tracks. Because all the folks on the train ain't worried about the tracks coming together because they know. Somebody say, I need to get a new perspective. Just say this with me, the best. Yes. Don't say it if you can't believe it. The best yes. is yet to come. Yes. Say my best money my best. is on its way. Yes. Say my best opportunities yes. are on their way. Yes. Say my best relationships yes. are on their way. Yes. Now give God praise if you can believe that. Yes. I believe it, God. Believe it, the best is yet to come. Say my best money is on its way. Say my best opportunities are on their way. Say my best relationships are on their way.